Hey crafty friends, this is Mary. You're watching Cards TV and today we're going to do card number two for the countdown to Christmas card series. We're going to do a slimline card using elegant edges and December 25th. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you guys here today. Now, if this is your first time to stop by Cards TV, I hope you'll take just a minute and tap that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that little bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I would love to have you as a new subscriber. Now, we're going to do a slimline card today. And these are so much fun and they're so easy to make. This card base is seven and a half by nine inches. I've scored it at three and three quarters inches. And this makes a card three and three quarters by nine inches. And it will fit inside a business size envelope. This is a number 10. I'm going to show you. Now we're going to make this one. See? It goes right in there. This one is going to be a landscape style card, meaning it's going horizontally. And what we're going to do first is I've just been having so much fun putting gold foil on my cards. So I have cut this piece of gold foil at 3 and 5 eighths by 8 and 7 eighths. I'm going to put that down first, and I'm going to flip that over because it is so bright and shiny. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add this green mat. This is 3 and 3 eighths by 8 and 5 eighths. And because it's going on that slick surface of that gold foil, I've got some score tape on it. And this should keep it from coming off. So I'm going to go ahead, take the backing off of this, get it on this gold foil paper, you can see we've got a nice little frame around there so you can really see that gold. And then I'm going to take my art glitter glue and get all this attached to the front of my slimline card. And I'm not going to make you watch me do this because sometimes it takes me a while to get that backing off. <laughs> so we'll come right back. Okay, we've got that much of our card base done. I'm going to slide this up here. What I did next is... I cut a piece of this beautiful holly paper, and this is from the Close to My Heart Comfort and Joy uh, cards kit. It was out, I believe, last month. I don't know if it's still available, but I'm going to leave you a link to Linda's Close to My Heart site, and you can go and check this out. This is double-sided, and it's really pretty, and I loved it for this card. Now, I cut one piece of this at three and a quarter by eight and a half. Then I put it in my trimmer, lined the points up in the track of the trimmer, and cut it diagonally. So I've got two pieces and I can make two cards with this. And this one I'm going to attach right down here and I'm going to leave a little bit of that green showing. And I'm going to get that attached to the card right there and I love those two greens together that is so pretty that is looking so pretty now I wanted to have something right in the center or maybe over to the right uh, in the middle of this card so I went to the elegant edges cartridge you guys know it's one of my favorites and I think it's my most used cartridge of all time <laughs> and I wanted an oval I wanted a shadow out of gold, and then I wanted just a plain white oval, which I've cut out. I've got score tape on this as well so that I can get that attached to that shiny gold foil paper. I'm actually going to put it right here, not in the center, but closer to the right side of my card, just a little bit off center. So this scalloped oval I found on page 23, I cut the white oblong at let me think 
three and three quarter inches. Then I came down here and I cut the gold shadow also at three and three quarter inches. I'm going to get these adhered together and then I'll show you what's going on top of this. It's going to be so pretty and make this card look so special and elegant. This is going to be so pretty on this card. I love that. Next, I got out the December 25th cartridge. This is by Teresa Collins. And what I like about this is the, there's very few pieces to these cuts, but they're all really pretty. And if we turn to the back side of the brochure, here's the word joy. I cut this out of gold at an inch and a half. I'll show you that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put that right there with my art glitter glue. Then I'm going to pop this whole thing up and put it on the card. But I also wanted to put some holly and berries on here because there's holly and berries in the paper. And I thought that would be really pretty together. So we'll pretend I've already got this put down. So for the holly and berries, I went back to the December 25th cartridge. And by the way, guys, if you don't have these actual cartridges, but you have an explorer or a maker, both of these are in the uh, Cricut design space. So you can make this card too if you don't have a Cricut expression. But I like to do cards using my expression now and then because I know so many people still have them and use them and still love them. Okay, right down here at the bottom, we see there's the holly and there's the berries. So I cut the holly out of green and the berries out of red, and I cut both at two inches. Let me show them to you. Now, I kind of did some surgery on these. There was another holly leaf out to the side on both of them, and I just trimmed it off. I didn't want it because it, it was just too big. And I wanted it to be able to fit nicely right there without going over the edge of the card. So I'm going to put those down with some art glitter glue. And I think that is so pretty. I know it's hard for you to see because it's so shiny. <laughs> but I'm going to get all of this attached to the front. And we're going to come back and I'll try to hold it at an angle to where you can see it without so much of the glare. Okay, y'all, here is my super shiny slimline Christmas card with the word joy. I hope y'all can see it. I've got it tilted up, but I think it turned out so pretty. It was so quick and easy, and as I showed you before, it's going to go perfectly inside that business size envelope. Just a really pretty card and really quick. If you got a lot to make, just sit down, cut out all your pieces, and glue them together, and you'll be done in no time. Thank you all so very much for coming by today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.